Hello, welcome back again. Uh, last time we talked about NixOS, NixDarwin, and Home Manager, and uh, what those things are useful for, and uh, showed a little bit uh, of them in action. This time we're going to talk about Home Manager some more. Uh, probably most of the next few videos are going to be about Home Manager. This one is going to be probably pretty short. Uh, I'm going to walk through how to install Home Manager and uh, give you maybe some tips on how to get started with it. But the next video will be about configuring your first stuff in Home Manager. So first off, you want to Google Home Manager. And this will give you GitHub Ricey Home Manager. So uh, the readme here is mostly installation instructions. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is run this. So this is just, um, if you're not on NixOS, this profile, these directories don't exist uh, necessarily, so you might have to create them. You can just copy paste that. Then um, you're adding a separate channel for Home Manager. So they have two different instructions here, one for if you're on the unstable channel of Nix packages, and one for if you're on the release channel. So the place that that's specified is in home slash next channels. And you can see ours is neither really. Um, dev specifies a particular pinned version along the unstable branch of Nix packages. So uh, what we're going to do is run the version of this command for um, unstable. So that's the top one. So we're going to run Nix channel add this thing and name it home manager. So what you'll see is that'll change this Nix channels file to include home manager. And that's it. Then we're going to run Nix channel update. And that'll do, that should be pretty quick. It'll update the channels and unpack them. Now, um, this thing says you're probably going to need to change your Nix path. You don't actually have to. Dev will do this for you. You just have to start a new shell. So we'll do that, close this one. And you can see if I look at my next path, it mentions home manager, so everything's fine. Now what you do is run mix shell home manager dash a install. Don't worry too much about what that means. It's just a thing to run. Um, whoops. I have some, you don't have to do this. I just have some config lingering around. Okay. So we run this. It probably downloads a bunch of stuff on your machine, but I ran this just in a run through of the video and I haven't run garbage collection. Anyway, at the end, you'll see something like this. And then it tells you about a file you can edit. So, um, did I, yeah. So if we edit that file, you'll see we've got programs.homemanager.enable equals true. Um, to just demonstrate this working, if I run bat, I don't have it. But if I would do programs.bat.enable equals true, and then I run home manager. So this has some options and commands. Um, what you probably want to do is run home manager switch to rebuild it. So we're going to run home manager switch. Now this will do a little bit of stuff, download bat, and then activate the new profile. And now I can do bat. Uh, we'll find a file to run it on. Let's do that. So you can see your home config. So this is where you start adding stuff to this config, configuring uh, different things. Um, we are going to talk a lot about that in the next few videos though and a little bit more about how to actually interact with Home Manager. Really, it's a lot like NixEnv. When you have things like NixEnv rollback, there's an equivalent for that in Home Manager. And you might want to spend some time with Home Manager help and look through that and just get familiar with, with what's available. Um, this is also a lot like how NixOS operates, and it's a lot like how NixDarwin operates. So um, yeah, that's it. Install Home Manager. Just try to get it working, and then we'll work on configuring it in the next few days. See you tomorrow.